from castles way up in the sky to Kiki and her delivery service. <laughs> oh my God, it's Ghibli. It feels like only yesterday when Marnie was there. Have you met my neighbors, the Yamadas or Totoro? Are you ready to be spirited away? Or will you be carried away by ocean waves? Oh my God, Studio Ghibli. Oh, yay. So we're gonna play a game. I'm gonna show you a scene from an English dubbed Studio Ghibli film. And you have to guess who the voice actor is. You get two points if you can guess correctly. If you don't know the answer, don't worry because I'll give you a hint, but you'll only get one point. If you get it wrong, no points. Listen, Sosuke, you know, this could be for the best. I know you tried, but Ponyo It's such a great fish. looking movie. I she love it. Meant to live in a bucket. The ocean is home to her. Yeah, I love the home. style of this movie. Hopefully that's I really don't know. I am not going to guess Ooh. it. Can I have a lick? Hurry, it's starting to melt. Yeah, you know, I, I definitely need to give Pony a rewatch, for sure. Does the voice sound familiar at all? Eh, like slightly familiar. A random guess, I don't think it's right. Kristen Stewart. Scarlett Johansson. This person was on SNL and on 30 Rock, and she wrote the movie Mean Girls. I should know that. Is this Tina Fey? I feel like Tina Fey. It's always like Tina Fey or something. <laughs> Is it Tina Fey? Yes. It's always Tina Fey! Oh my god! Uh, Ponyo, okay, as like all great films start, a girl is a fish, right? Um, so the fish girl, Ponyo, is like, Dad, I wanna be free. And Dad's like, you can't be free, the world is scary. And she's like, sounds like a you problem, and then decides to leave. Befriends this little boy, and then magic and platonic love ensues. Did you know Ponyo was adapted from Hans Christian Andersen's The Little Mermaid? I did not. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. What the heck? I can see it. Like, fish girl comes to land, has feet, still fish. Fish tendencies. Boy, this place has really changed since I was here last. Look how these Riley. doors well, have opened Easy. Up. That, that one I got. What's his name? A little pothole. This is the guy, he wears glasses, his ball, his head is shaved. I know his face. I could see I could draw him. Don't know his name. But I feel like there's a whole list of people who could give that voice. Do you wanna do you wanna hint? No, because I know who this guy is. Was in Step Brothers with Will Farrell. I know, I know who it is. John C. Riley. Yeah, yeah, I don't know his name. That's John C. Riley. John C. Riley, yeah, I would have never got that. I'd see, I could draw, I could have drawn that from memory. Sophie, you, you sabotaged me. Look, look what you've done to my hair. Look. Oh, what a pretty color. It's hideous. You completely ruined my magic potions in the bathroom. I just organized things, Hal. Nothing's ruined. Wrong, wrong. I specifically ordered you not to get carried oh away. God, I don't know the voice actor. No, I'm repulsive. I can't live like this. <laughs> Come on, drama oh, stop that bad. Or drama prince. <laughs> drama king. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It came to me at the end. It sounds so familiar, but like then again, I know this is incorrect, but like Tom Hiddleston, and I know that's wrong. He at one point played Batman, and he did it before Ben Affleck. <laughs> Nah, that's not gonna help me. My mom didn't let me watch Batman, and then I just never got back around to it. No way. Um, he was in The Prestige. No way. There is no... Yes! I caught it at the end, that little gravelly undertone. What's his freaking name? He was in Nolan's Batman. He... Oh, so Christian Bale? Christian Bale, damn it. Yes! <sighs> no. Colin Farrell. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's that's Christian Bale. Christian, I'm so sorry, my love. All right, so Howl's Moving Castle. It's a very, very loving film. A uh, girl named Sophie living her life, and then he meets a guy named Howl who has a moving castle. There you go. That's the movie. There you go. It's it's so cool. I love it. I just ugh, such an amazing film. If you haven't watched it, go. Watch it, such a good film. I hate mice, I don't eat them. I'm allergic to cattails and catnip does nothing for me. I'm sorry. 
Did I hurt your feelings? I overreacted, didn't I? Mm. <sighs> I've just been on edge recently. Things have not been going well for me. Oh? Really? What kind of things? I don't know. Everything, you name it. I'm quite shocked to hear this. But I suppose even pretty girls like you have problems like everyone else. What? Stop. That's enough. Okay, so she won an Oscar for Les Mis. And she was the the star Come of... on. No. No. Don't tell me anymore. Don't tell me anymore. I knew that was... Damn, Hathaway. Damn it. Um, is it Anne Hathaway? Yes. You got it, Anne Hathaway. We are the champions, my friends. Anne Hathaway? She looks familiar. I don't know her name. That is Anne Hathaway. There, okay, there we go. It was the last summer of the Great War. We were flying over the Adriatic. Okay, this sounds familiar. On a routine surveillance patrol headed toward Istria. Oh, Porco Rosso. My good buddy I need to watch Berlini was right beside me. He had just gotten married to Gina of the Hotel Adriano. And I was his best man. But the war called, so we had to go back into battle right after the ceremony. It, to me, it sounded like George Clooney. I have no clue if it was or not. So this guy, he won an Academy Award for Birdman. And he was Jack Frost <laughs> Jack in 1998. Um, but to narrow it down even more, this person played Batman in 1989 for Tim Burton. For Tim Burton. Uh, I mean, I'm, uh, Michael Keaton? Uh, Tim Burton's Batman. Michael Keaton? That was Michael Keaton? Ah, what's his name? I don't know his name. He is Michael Keaton. I would have never, and I mean ever, guessed Michael Keaton. Congratulations, you're the winner. Congratulations. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, that's you. Sorry. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Same reaction. Congratulations, Jackson. You did it, my guy. Good job. Jackson, doesn't look like you're the winner today, um, but I have a good feeling for next time. That's true. Uh, I love my Studio Ghibli movies. I love anime. Anime is such a great genre. That, uh, so hopefully I can be in more general anime shows instead of just Ghibli, because maybe then I'll get it. I don't know, I'm kind of kind of beat. I really thought I was gonna do good. Tina Fey was like such a good start. And then I just like gradually just went went south. I mean, hey, the only way is up. After what I did, I can't do much worse. I, <laughs> I want to play again. This is really fun. Thanks for watching this episode of Replay. Let us know what you would like us to replay next in the comments. And if you like this episode, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Bye. Hey guys, it's Sierra. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did and you want to support our channel, the best way to do so is to subscribe. So please click that button down below. Bye guys.